1996 Buick Roadmaster. And what I'm doing on here is I'm replacing the injectors. I've got some injectors from Rock Auto. Here's the part number there. And I've got one. They're just remanufactured injectors. And you have to pay a, a core charge and send the old ones back, I think. But this is what they look like. What you want to do is get that top cover off. Get the protective cover off, the beauty cover, and take this bracket off. And this bracket's got a bunch of wires on it. Take all that junk off and get it out of the way. Put it right here for now. And then unplug this vacuum line for the, I think this is the um, vent solenoid here. But these little connectors, they look kind of scary, but they're easy to get off. All you got to do is push that wire in like this. That's all you got to do. Just push that wire in like that. And that releases it. That releases it off of there. Squeeze that and pops off. Easy, easy. And each one has got a number on it. The number might be faded off, but each one's got a number. Okay. And then once you get all that stuff off, let's go to the other side. You want to relieve the fuel pressure here. Okay. There's the fuel pressure relief thing, Schrader valve. This is the uh, fuel pressure regulator right here. You take that hose off, and you've got two uh, two lines here that have just the little connectors on there. You put this put this little tool on there to push up and relieve that spring. It has a small spring inside that you relieve, and I'll show you that what it looks like. Some of them have a spring. This one has tabs. You push those tabs back off of this little ridge here and it pops it off. So just push them out of the way. This is as good as you're gonna get with this, this big old huge harness. There's probably a few more wires that I can disconnect to get it off. But uh, at this point now, where I've got it, the injectors are just about ready to come out. Now in this case here, WD-40 is your friend. And I sprayed WD-40 on all the connectors that I took loose and on all the fuel injectors. Cause see, the, they could be stuck in there really good. So. I spray WD-40 everywhere and you wriggle it around, see if they'll pop out. Eh, it's probably going to take a little bit more force to pop them out. They're stuck in there good. It's the original ones. So let me get to the next step here. I'm going to have to pop those injectors loose and I'll get back with it. All right, so here we are. I've got all these injectors replaced. I just wanted to show this last set. The, each one of these injectors has a little clip on it. Zoom in on there. Has a little clip on there like this. It's right here. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to take this injector off first. You take this injector off first. Then you take this one off. You clean this one all up. You have to put this one on and put this clip on before you put that one on. That makes it for easy access. Okay. It makes it easy to get to. And then each O-ring, I've got some AC Delco uh, dielectric silicone I put on each O-ring. Each O-ring needs to be properly lubricated. You can do it with WD-40. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to do it with grease, but you can if you have to. Uh, grease will break these down over time. Uh, WD-40 evaporates completely. So get some grease and lube on there you will not be able to do this without some kind of silicone grease okay it's not it's just not gonna work so that's how this part looks let's look at the